A warm welcome to Brand 10,000 W Combinator 100 Days to Leadership Transformation Series. I'm Aparna Ji Kumar, the Global Co-Chairperson of GCPIT, that is the Global Council for the Promotion of International Trade, a not-for-profit registered in India and South Africa. The mission of GCPIT is to support SMEs globally. We started our 100 Days to a Leadership Transformation journey yesterday. We got a wonderful feedback from the speaker as well as the audience. We have started this series because the last few weeks and months, we all have been seeing that only sad news were pouring in. And it was as if it was never going to end. We saw that many of our SMEs and startups and women pronouns were struggling to bounce back. We felt it is our responsibility to take charge, lead and help them bounce back. It was time for us to rise and act and give back to our community, even though we all were going through the same situation. We decided to bring you the power-packed 100 days to a leadership transformation series, starting with sessions on mental health, wellness, safety, bounce back strategies, business development, sales and marketing, how to communicate and lead post-pandemic, and also sessions of inter on international trade and economics. We expect you all to attend each session carefully. And once we complete these 100 days, we will be ready to bounce back and transform our businesses into global brands with the support of GCPAD's Brand 10,000 SMEs and Brand 10,000 W Combinator program. Let us grow together with GCPAD. Today, we have a very special person with us, the very bubbly, bubbly and energetic Sangeeta Shankaran Sumesh. She is the gain enabler, creating a positive impact through high performance and increased profits. She is on a mission to enable, empower and elevate businesses and individuals. Her purpose is to serve leaders, teams, and entrepreneurs to shine and succeed. She brings along a rich corporate experience of 25 years, including leadership positions with multinationals across geographies. She is a chartered accountant and management accountant and has completed executive education from Harvard Business School. She is a high performance business coach, credentialed from International Coaching Federation, and business advisor, a TEDx speaker, and a best selling author of What the Finance and Get High. She has won various accolades like Leading Woman Chief Financial Officer in India, India's Most Influential Women in Finance, Innovator in Finance at International Women's Leaders Forum, 100 Inspiring Authors of India, Outstanding Professional Award by Fiji, and she's also one of GCPIT's 100 Global Women Leaders this year. Let me proudly present before you business coach, CEO and founder of Gantastic, Ms. Sangeeta Shangaran Sumesh. Over to you, Sangeeta. Thank you very much, Aparna. That was a lovely introduction, and it's always great to be back and you know be part of GCPIT's initiatives. It's just wonderful, amazing crowd, amazing energy, and I'm really excited to be part of this event today. So a very warm good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody around, and I'm like really excited to connect with all of you virtually. So today I'm going to be talking about what the F, what the finance, right? So finance, you know, can help you and your business in umpteen number of ways, right? But then when I say finance, a lot of people are like, oh no, finance, it's so boring. Finance, it's challenging. Finance is not my cup of tea. You know, this is the common things that I hear from most people around. So I'm here to demystify this myth about finance, that finance is boring and challenging. And so I'm going to see how I can make finance as interesting as possible for all of you. And not just that, how it can actually help you and your business so that the profits can enhance. So that is why I have named my talk for today as what the finance, let your profits enhance. So are we ready? I would like to see some interaction in the chat box. Are we ready? Are you guys excited like me? Would you want me to proceed further? Would you like to know more and learn more about finance? Yes, that's it, Bela, absolutely great. Yes, 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 I'm excited to see so many yeses. Awesome, you guys are awesome and rocking. Yes, good evening, right, amazing. So let's get started. So what are the things that uh, we are going to Yes, show me the money, it's with you and you will have access to your money very soon, right? So today, what are the things that we are gonna cover? So I'm gonna be talking about 
your cash, right? The cash is king, isn't it? So we're going to be talking about, about cash, how you can manage your cash better. And I have some other exciting things as well, like how you can manage your spend better. And a few other things, where is it that you need to focus for your business so that your profits can enhance, right? So this is to give you an outline on what we are going to be covering for today. So if you are ready, then let's get started, all right? So you're probably wondering, what is this mad? You know, I'm here to talk about finance and what is this mad all about? Okay, so before I proceed further, I'd like to give you a heads up that I am an acronym person. I love giving acronyms and sharing acronyms simply because the recall value is much higher and you can recall it at the time that you need. Yes, thank you, Christina, for that. So, what does MAD stand for and what is the context of MAD in a finance talk is what I'm going to share with you. So like I said, since a lot of people seem to have this aversion towards finance and a phobia for finance, I'm going to teach you a little trick. I'm going to give you a secret on how you can break free and be the finance champion that you want to be. So are you ready? If you're ready, post a yes or give me a thumbs up emoji so that I know you're good to go. Yes, Kusum, right, awesome, okay. So yes, yes, you are all ready. You are a, a huge enthusiastic lot like me and that gives me a lot of energy to go ahead. Super, all right. So what does MAD stand for those? So the M in MAD is your mindset, right? What sort of a mindset do you have? Because mindset is the key for everything. Now, if you're going to think, oh, finance, oh, no, I don't want to handle it. Well, that's how it's going to be. But if you're able to flip it across and say, finance, I'm going to crack it, I'm going to rock it, then you're at, totally, you have a flip on that. And that is going to enable you, it's going to empower you to get high on finance and that is going to help you to become a master in finance, right? So my friends, what sort of a mindset do you have on finance? I'd like you to take a moment's pause and think, how is it that you are approaching finance? Think about it. And while you think about it, what I also want to tell you is, just remember, finance is the backbone of any business. However big or however small your business may be, if you can focus on your finance, yes, absolutely, you're going to crack it. Yay, awesome, awesome, super duper, super. So if you're going to crack it like you all are going to, then your future is going to be rocking, right? So if you're ready, let's now work on the mindset and what does a stand for a is your acceptance how ready are you to accept finance to be within your ambit within your ambit of growth right so unless you're able to take charge and accept finance for what it has to offer to you how is it you can work around it right so Work on accepting it, right? So that by accepting it, you're more prepared to welcome it and learn to grow further with finance. So M is your mindset, A is your acceptance, and B is to develop. The more you develop your skills on finance, the more easy it's going to become, right? So I would like to check with you. What are you doing to develop your financial skills, your financial ability, so that your financial prudence would increase and that would enable your business to perform a lot better, right? So let me tell you, let me repeat what the acronym is again. M is your mindset, A is your acceptance, and D is develop. So just work on this, keep this in the back of your mind because this will help you 
to become a champion in finance right okay so are we ready are we good to now actually deep dive into finance are we ready are we together i'd like to see some emojis yes madhusmita yes saparna yes okay <laughs> yes attitude as well attitude forms part of the mindset christina so absolutely thank you for the hearts and the emojis great awesome okay so let's now see what is next yeah before i tell you i have a question for all of you now most of you are into business take a moment and post in the chat box and tell me why does your business exist why does your business exist i want to see a lot of comments in the chat box and get different answers from all of you why does your business exist who wants to go first who is ready fastest fingers fastest fingers to help people thank you aparna who else what about the rest why do you think okay if you don't have a business to make a difference great kusum okay if you don't have a business think generally i mean why does any business exist passion to coach great okay because of customers awesome Yes Vijay that's exactly the answer that i was looking for prosperity for people planet yes yes absolutely great christina but you know you can have your passion you can have the you know willingness to help people and you can be there for your customers all the other reasons that you said but you know what you can do all that even in a charity right so the difference between a charity and a business is profit right so i wanted to emphasize on this factor for you because remember that any business how a big or how a small is there to make a profit or if you are only passionate and you know you only want to help other people and you want to just serve your customers go ahead do it as a charity right but if you want to be in business and if you want to be successful in your business remember that profit is one of the key ingredients so and for your profits to grow better of course there are many different factors and one of the important things is finance so that my friends makes finance all the more important for you now again i'd like to tell you a little bit about the statistics now one of the common reasons that many businesses fail you know while there are many a reasons one of the common reasons is lack of financial management so if you don't want to fall a prey to that it's time you get hold of finance take charge of it and see what best you can do about finance right so let's get started so like i said cash is king right So you're probably wondering what is this Humpty Dumpty doing out here? That's because I have a song for you, and it goes like this: Humpty Dumpty had a great bash, and Humpty Dumpty was left with no cash. All the professionals and all the tax men couldn't put Humpty together again. So that's what happens if you don't take charge of your cash. and you are left with no cash and you would just tend to fall and that's why cash becomes so important and cash is king i say cash is like oxygen it's oxygen for your business just like how we cannot be without oxygen your business cannot be without cash so how can you successfully manage cash so i'm going to share an acronym and here it comes so the acronym you need to remember is thank you for that christina the acronym you have to remember is cash cash for cash makes it easy right so what does c a s h stand for right so c stands for collect collect on time because if you let go then your cash cycle isn't good enough so ensure you are there to collect your dues on time whatever is the credit that you're giving your customers ensure you are able to collect it well within that time so that your cash flow cycle 
is helping you, right? So C is to collect on time. A, A is to anticipate. What do you have to anticipate? Anticipate your cash inflow and your cash outflow simply because that's going to help you to plan your finances much better, right? So you can plan ahead, you will have better visibility on how you need to manage and therefore A is for anticipate. So C is to collect, A is anticipate. What does S stand for? To be systematic, right? What do you do systematically? Systematically monitor, monitor your financial situation, right? So that you know, for instance, how much money is there in the bank for your business? How much do you have to, you know, readily available that you can spend? Suppose you want to grow your business, so on and so forth. So systematically ensure that you have an eye on the cash. So C is to collect, A is to anticipate, S is systematic, and what is H? The habit. Now, what habit? Habit of having the reserves, the cash reserves. So, especially during challenging times like these, if you have sufficient cash reserves, you know your business is geared up and can propel ahead, right? So that is why cash reserves are very important because it can help you in any sort of rainy days. So what is cash? Let me repeat, collect on time. Anticipate your cash inflow and outflow, systematically monitor, and to have the habit of cash reserves, right? So that is my first finance mantra for you on cash. Cash is king. So you know what you need to do on your cash, right? So I have yet another mantra for you. And what is that? That is on your spend, your spend management, right? So I have noticed many businesses, especially during times like these, they want to curb their expenses. They don't want to spend. But then if you don't spend, how can your business grow? How can you reach out to more customers, right? And how will your profits enhance? So you need to spend, but then you need to spend with a lot of care and caution and apply financial prudence and make the right financial decisions that will help your business, right? So now let's look at a strategy on how you can manage your spend better, right? So let's talk about spend management. So here I am with another acronym for you. And what is that? Well, what do you normally say? Take care right? So CARE is the acronym for your spend management, where C stands for control. What sort of control mechanisms do you have in place in your business to control your financial situation? So ensure you put in those right controls in place. So C is for controls. A is alternate. What are the alternates available for a particular spend? Are you taking sufficient comparative codes? Are you doing what is required so that whatever spend you're incurring is good for your business? So look at what sort of alternates you have for a particular spend. So I said care, right? So C is control, A is alternate, and R is required. What is required? You may ask me. Is the spend even required for your business? That's the question you need to ask. Or can you do away without this particular spend? Check that out. So ask yourself if a spend is required for your business or you can do away with it. So I said care. So E stands for enhance. Now you may wonder what is enhance? Enhance is how is a particular spend enhancing your business? How is it contributing to the growth of your business? And what exactly is it doing to your business, right? So these are questions you need to ask 
your own self because you are the business owner you are the entrepreneur you are the business head and you know your business like nobody else right so what is care all about under spend management c is your control a is alternate r is required and e is enhanced right so ask yourself these questions keep this care acronym as a checklist for yourself and see what can be done for your business right so then let's look at another important aspect which is roi anybody do you know what roi stands for it's a common acronym what does roi stand for post it in the chat box return on investment absolutely right christina awesome yes you got it right so i'm going to share with you awesome guys awesome so i'm going to share with you some important parameters that you can consider while computing your roi for your business yes all of you got it right awesome you guys are awesome right so what does roi stand for and here i am going to give you another acronym what is the acronym rule remember the rule for roi so what does r stand for the risk so before making any financial decision and before you go when you're going to evaluate what sort of returns you're going to get take that pause think evaluate what is the risk involved the risk may not just be financial in nature it could be other risk it could be a brand reputation risk for example so what are the other different forms of risk that exist before you make that decision so that the business doesn't get into any financial risks or shortcomings at a later date so the first thing you need to check is what is the risk before you make that investment so i said rule didn't i so what does u stand for u is the utility factor by incurring the particular investment and going ahead and making the decision to go for it what sort of utility is your business going to get check that out right and then comes your l if you are like you know wanting to go ahead with that particular decision i would urge you to have limit for it because if you don't set limits you just going to keep on and on and on spending without knowing whether how much is the return that you're getting so if you want to be financially prudent i would not you to set those limits so that you don't go overboard and you don't regret that uh, later date so i said rule so what does e stand for evolve now this investment that you want to do how is it going to evolve well over a period of time how is it going to support your business how is it going to help your business and how is it going to contribute to the success of your business right so that is the key those are the key parameters before you go and make that decision for any sort of investment that you want to do because roi you will know your returns only when the returns actually come right so it could be a little too late for that so before you make that investment take the right financial decision which is which should be in the best interest of your business right so let me repeat what rule stands for for you r any takers risk yes and u is your utility l is limits and e is how is it going to evolve so those are some of the parameters before you make the decision on going ahead with any particular investment for your business right so that was the third mantra i shared with you and then comes the last mantra for today what is it a profit mantra do you guys want your profits to grow and enhance if yes post in the chat box if you want your profits to grow are you looking for your profits to grow or do you just want to remain where it is yes 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 everybody wants the profits to grow so if you want your profits to grow yeah yeppy yes christina yes so if you want your profits to grow where do you focus what are you supposed to do 
So here I am going to share with you not an acronym this time, but it's the four P strategy. So what are the four P's that you need to focus on so that your profit can grow? The first one is the price, right? Your price for either your product or your service, whatever are your offerings, should be right. Because if you overprice it, you're probably shooing away your customers. And of course, if you underprice it, it's not good for your business, right? So ensure that you are able to have a pricing strategy in such a way that it is in the best interest of your business. So there are different ways by which you can arrive at a pricing strategy. That's a totally different topic for discussion. But the key is you need to have the right sort of pricing. And that comes to you with experience. You can look at how you know, the market is reacting, so on and so forth. But price is a key factor. What is the second P? The product. When I say product, it could be your product or serving or your service that you're offering, basically whatever you're offering for sale, right? So the product or service, it should be in such a manner that it's actually adding value to your customer, right? Because if they are able to see the value that they're getting from it, then they would be all set and all interested in getting your product or service. And that would help your top line or your sales to grow further. So that is why it's important you are offering the right thing for your customers. So that is the second P. What is the third P? Your process. And that's where finance plays a key role because finance helps in defining the right sort of processes for your business. Of course, it could be even your manufacturing process, for example. Whatever are the processes that's there in the business, they play a vital role in having good control, minimizing your costs, and ensuring your profits can grow. So therefore, what sort of processes are in place for your business is something that you need to have an eye on. And if you think it's not so good, see what can be done to strengthen the processes of your business, right? And what is the fourth P? It's your people, right? People are so important. Your team is so important because they are the ones who are actually working to uplift your business and grow your business. And that's why it makes it all the more important to have a great team, train your people, coach your people, ensure that they are giving their very best to the business. And that's what makes people a very key factor. So remember your price, your product, your process, and your people is what is going to help your business to grow and thereby enable your profits to grow. So that is important, keep that in mind. And I would also like you to think, how is it you are growing all these four Ps so that your business is winning and growing and profits are reigning in your business. So that is important. So these were the main aspects I wanted to cover for today. And yes, since you guys have been great audience, uh, I have some free giveaways here for you. So the, the book, A Glance of the Unknown is a spiritual thriller. That was my first book. It's a free download on Kindle. And then The Power of High Performance Coaching is an audio book. It's a free download on Audible Suno app. So if you have it, you can go ahead and listen. And this particular book, Nightingale's Three, it's not written by me. But Nightingale's Three is actually written by my CA professors, and it's an extremely inspiring book. It's on the life of 11 chartered accountant women, and of course, I'm one of them. And it's really inspiring to read each story. So if you would like it, go ahead, pick it. That's also a free download on Kindle. So I wanted to share that with you, my friends. And also, yes, if you like to read, so you have my book. What the finance? Yes, it's a national bestseller and you can go ahead, uh, read it, hard and soft copy available on Amazon and uh, other platforms like Flipkart. So go ahead, read it. It also has the 
the financial journey of many successful entrepreneurs on how they handled finance, what were the mistakes they did, and you know how you can avoid them. So that is one. And of course, there's get high, how to coach yourself for high performance. And that has been endorsed by New York Times bestsellers and some of the senior industry leaders. And yes, I also want to share with you, I have my YouTube channel. It's called Sang Shah Soon, which is an abbreviation of my name. So go ahead, subscribe, hit the bell button because I keep sharing a lot of finance mantras. And uh, thank you so much for those lovely words, Christina. Absolutely epic. Thank you. Gratitude to you as well. So I keep sharing a lot of things on finance, high performance and leadership. So go ahead, when you get the time, do listen to most of them. Uh, there are a lot of them that are very interesting for you. So do go ahead. And yes, I am always there to connect with you. So if there's anything, do feel free to reach out to me. My social media handle is the gain enabler, right? Because I believe in enabling gains, either financial gains or non-financial gains as well, which is on your high performance and leadership. So I would love to connect with all of you. So if there's something, feel free to reach out. And yes, uh, if any question answers, oh, thank you guys. Yes, I'm so delighted to see all those wonderful comments on the chat. So I would most importantly request all of you to make a note of whatever was, uh, you know, resonated with you, whatever you would like to implement in your business and do unmute yourself and share with me or share in the chat box what stood out for you in today's talk? What was it that you really liked? What is the takeaway? And what is it that you're going to implode? Yes, for four piece. Awesome, Kusum. Great to hear that. Thank you, Danya. Yes. Thank you, Madhu. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Anju. Wow, mad. Okay. <laughs> Fantastically explained. Thank you, Swapna. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm like really thrilled seeing all your comments. ROI. Yes. Good. Madhu Smita. Madhu Smita. Right. Super, super, yes. So if there are any questions, rule, yes, Puja, super, awesome. You guys are paying very good attention. Super duper, I love it. Thank you, thank you, Bonya. Thank you, Samiro, glad to note that you're a child accountant as well. Care, right, simple, effective, yes, thank you. So I hope now you guys are in love with finance. Oh, is it Anju? Oh, great to know that, awesome. Super four piece. Yes, yes. So if there are any questions, my friend, go ahead and please do ask me. Great to know that, Bella. Awesome. You guys are very good. Yes. Anybody? Anything? Other favorite part was the profits. Great. Yes, Bella. Yes, I agree with you. Mine as well. Super. Thank you, guys. Yes. Aparna, is there anything? Yes, uh, that was an awesome session, Sangeeta, as always. Uh, those who have attended today would surely have gone mad, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take good care of the finances as well. The acronyms were amazing, and I'm sure everybody will uh, remember. How, how to focus on the four P's and yes. uh, on behalf of GCPAD, I really thank you for joining us today and let's see if anybody has any questions. Yes. Uh, Christina has a question. In the uh, yeah, Christina yes. is asking, she yes. is so keen to learn more on strategy, yes. Yes. specific challenges. So, yes, absolutely. So in What the Finance, there are a lot of strategies. Uh, you know, the book is divided mainly into the revenue, into the cost and then your uh, compliance as well as cash, apart from the real life stories and things that you need to understand about finance. So that is there. And then my other book should be coming out in a couple of months time. So that will have a little more uh, uh, as well. So go ahead and uh, I'm sure you would enjoy reading the book. So go ahead and you can get that. Yes, you know, so get the you, link Sanita. of the giveaways. Yes, um, yes, absolutely. I, uh, okay. Dipti, you, are you from Karnataka? Uh, so I can share it uh, with you. Uh, hi, Aparna. No, I'm hi. from Hyderabad. Hyderabad, okay. Yeah. Are you part of CMSME? Uh, I'm a 
um, part of Grand Queen's Club to which I got this link. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can connect uh, with Sangeeta on LinkedIn or. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. So thank I'm you, just, thank you. Just sharing the uh, link as well as we speak. So. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, in the chat. Yes, yes. this is for the book so, from Nightingale's Three. Yeah. Vijay is asking, do you have any references or strategy on arriving product SaaS model pricing? Um, so you see, I think that is uh, very specific to each business, right? So I'll have, to, I wouldn't want to give a, a blanket answer on that, but uh, we'll have to just look through before we uh, say anything. So you I, can connect with Sangeeta on yes. GCP's website as well. You have an option correct, there. Correct. Yes. Yes. Uh, connect her through mail. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we can uh, look into it in depth. That's not a problem. Yes, thanks, Vijay. Yeah. So that is the other link that I posted in the chat for my first book, The Spiritual Thriller. It's called A Glance of the Unknown. And uh, YouTube, you can just look up for me as the Gain Enabler, but I'm also just posting the link uh, in the chat box so that uh, you can just go ahead and uh, click it. All my social media handles are the gain enabler. So you can find me easily. Yes, thank you, Bela. Happy to connect, yeah. Yes, anybody else, anything else? Or any doubts, any questions? I don't think anybody have any questions, right? As a man thinks, see that's again your bias, your mindset. Here I am, a lady presenting to you, and you have other <laughs> successful yeah. women with finance. In fact, you know what I always say: if you were to look at any household, right, it's mostly the women who are running it, and they can manage it so well with a small budget or a large budget as well. So I always say finance is actually a woman thing because financial management comes so naturally to women, right? Yes, Vijay, thanks for that, yes. So it is a female thing already. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So any more questions? I don't think any more questions. Anyway, thank you so much, uh, Sankita, it was awesome. Okay always and thank you so much when I asked her immediately she said yeah anything for you so really uh, I love that attitude of yours and really it was awesome having you and dear audience thank you so much for joining us tomorrow yeah would you like to add something? special thanks to Praveena because she's calling me acronym queen thank you so much Praveena <laughs> yeah <laughs> So anything else anything else to add uh, everybody is thanking you so yes thank you likewise you guys are awesome yes. yeah i think we have a lot of viewers on fb as well we are going live on facebook and youtube so it was awesome so we'll uh, have our another guest tomorrow so please join us uh, tomorrow we have andrea with her dance movements how to do stress relief through dance and body movements so join us tomorrow have a uh, great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you have joined from. Thank you so much, Sangeeta. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Great session. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, Anju. So much. So vibrant session. <laughs> Thanks a lot.